Hey guys, today I want to talk about warming up. A lot of people skip their warm up or don't do very much of it, but I think it's an important part of our routine that we shouldn't overlook. It not only helps to prevent injury, but it also helps to practice more efficiently when your hands are comfortable, and it also kind of gets you in the zone. So I'm going to show you what I do, and then you can make an informed decision on your own over what you'd like to do. So the first thing I do when I sit down to play is I get comfortable and I tune my instrument. Yes, I do consider this a part of my warm-up. First, I'll put on a drone. I usually just put on an A drone, but you might want to put on a drone for each separate string. Either one is fine. Now, I'm in solo tuning, so I'm going to be up a whole step. So instead of putting on an A drone, I'll actually be putting on a B. Everything looks good so far. So then I turn the drone off and then I'll just check it with the tuner just to make sure that I got everything right. So this is a really good time to open up your bow arm and get it really ready to go. So focus on getting weight into the string. Try not to tense up too much or just play for the sake of playing because that doesn't always equal a good tone. And it's also a really good way to just warm up your ears. So the next thing that I do is I play a slow scale. And the slow scale that I do takes about 10 minutes or so. Um, I start really slow. I usually have the metronome on around 80, but it doesn't have to be there. You can put it on 60 or 70 or whatever you'd like, whatever is comfortable for you. I start by playing whole notes and I go all the way up and down the scale and then I do quarter notes do the same thing all the way up and down, and then do the same thing with, um, I'm sorry, I skipped over half notes. I do half notes and then quarter notes and then eighth notes, triplets, and sixteenths. And then as a bonus, you might want to do an arpeggio at the end as well, which I do. So like I said, this whole thing takes about 10 minutes, so I'm not going to play it for you right now, but I just want to point out that usually I'll do about a four octave scale. And so this takes me, if I'm playing F major, I'll start right in half position and go all the way up down to here. So I'm covering a lot of ground. I also have a drone on when I do this, a drone and a metronome. So I'm working on my time, working on my intonation, working on my ears, all of that good stuff while I'm still warming up my hand. So I really like doing this. I'll stay with the same key also for an entire week just to sort of get used to it and then I move in a circle of fifths. So if I start in F major this week, next week I'll do C major and so on and so forth. The next thing I do is a shifting drill. If you're not familiar with the shifting drill, I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. Like I said, I'm in solo tuning, so it'll be up a whole step. So I'm going to do shifting drill in A, but it'll sound like it's in B. So all you want to do is start with the first note. I'm going to shift from one to two. And you do that all the way up until you get to the octave A and then come back down and reverse the process. I really like this because it warms up my ears, I'm working on my intonation, and it just warms up my hand. The movement, the easy movement in the left hand just really gets my hands ready to go. So you don't have to do this exercise, but I really like it, as I said, because it's just a simple exercise, especially with the left hand that just gets it moving. So choose one where that happens, where you can just warm up your left hand and you don't have so much going on at, at once. The next thing I do is I work on a passage from my rep that I'm working on. And I make sure that I pick a really difficult one for a couple reasons. Um, first of all, it's early in my practicing. I'm still warming up here. So I have a lot of energy. Um, I don't have to worry about my stamina right now. It's maybe 15 minutes into my practicing. So I can work on something really difficult and be really focused. The second thing is that I start very, very slow. So the passage I'm going to play for you today is from the Handel Halverson Passacaglia. And normally it's at about uh, 80 for the half note, but I take it all the way down to half tempo. So right at 40. So I start really, really slow, and then I slowly build up the tempo. 
So this is the passage. I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, so like I said, this is one of the most difficult passages that I play, but that's kind of the point. You're warming up, but you're still working on something that you need to work on when you have the energy and the stamina, and you still need to warm up a little bit. So it works really well for me. I've been doing this for many years. Um, after I played at half tempo, I might bump it up five or 10 clicks, just depending on how far I need to go. And then after that, I'm usually ready to work on my music. All of this takes me about 20 to 25 minutes. And for me, that's how long it takes me to warm up completely. For you, it might be different. It might take you longer or it might take you less time. But I strongly recommend that you warm up and I hope that giving you my warm up helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment underneath the video and I'll help you in the best way that I can. But until then, I will see you next time.